Hello students, in this class we will solve some problems related to equations. Okay, So already we have seen how to distribute identical objects into boxes using linear equations. Number of positive integral solutions, number of non-negative integral solutions for the linear equations. right? Now here you see we have some different equations, not linear equations here. Let's see the first question the number of positive integral solutions of x into y into z is equal to 105 okay so here we have the product of the variables x into y into z is equal to 105 if you want to find out number of positive integral solutions of x plus y plus z is equal to 105 we have already discussed how to solve these type of problems number of non negative integral solutions and number of positive integral solutions we have seen this already with some different conditions also but here we have x into y into z is equal to 105. Now you see x into y into z is equal to 105. If you write the canonical form of this again, 105, you write first as a product of primes, right? So 105, if you want, you can write 5 into 21 and you get in 21 as 7 into 3. So 3 into 7 into 5, right? So 3 into 5 into 7 also yes you can write in order we will write 3 into 5 into 7 so here we have x into y into z is equal to 3 into 5 into 7 which is 105 now here how many solutions are there now how to deal this type of problems you see again we are going to use the method of distribution right so for example here if you take x is equals to 21 and if you take y is equals to 5 and z is equals to what? 1. That gives you one of the solution. Yes, 21 into 5 into 1 which is gives which, which gives you 105 or otherwise you can write here 5, here 21, here 1 or you can write 1, 5, 21 so like this. Now you can think of like this. 21 is nothing but two balls uh, suppose the ball numbered as 7 and 3 so you are putting these two balls together for z right so if you suppose let us suppose you have here three boxes okay let us suppose the first box is x and the second box is y and the third box is z let us suppose here we have like this and here we have three balls let assume okay suppose that you have three balls one ball numbered 3 and one ball numbered 5 and the third ball is numbered a 7. So now if I put these two balls 7 and 3 in the first box let us suppose I put this three two balls 7 and 3 in the first box and 5 in the second box and nothing in the third box so consider that if nothing means 1. So this gives you what the solution x value is 21 y value is 5 and z value is 1. If I put all the balls in the y box means 7 and 3 and 5 I will put in the second box and nothing here means 1 nothing here means 1 so 1 into 105 into 1 means x value 1 y value 105 and z value 1 so you got one more solution. So what is the meaning of this how we are connecting these problem into distribution problem right what is that how many ways you can distribute this three balls how many ways you can distribute this three balls numbered three one ball and the other ball numbered as five the third ball numbered as seven how many ways you can distribute these three balls into three distinct boxes okay so that is the actual question so the number of solutions what is that the number of solutions the number of solutions of the above equation number of solutions of the above equation is same as what the number of ways the number of ways of distributing the number of ways of distributing these three balls number of ways of distributing these three different balls into three different boxes into three different boxes how many ways you can distribute three balls into three different boxes that is the question okay so now how to do this it's a very simple thing already you know the basics right if you don't know the basics you watch the videos from the beginning so there are lots of videos and permutations of combinations okay you can watch it if you want now let's see here for the first of all how many choices are there this first of all can be put in the first box or in the second box or in the third box so for first of all you have three choices similarly you have three choices for the second ball and you have 
have three choices for the third ball. So the total number of ways of distributing these three identical bo balls into these three different boxes is what? For each ball you have three choices. So first ball three choices into second ball three choices into third ball is also three choices. So three into three into three this which is 27. So the number of ways of distributing three balls into three boxes is what? 3 into 3 which is 27. So therefore the number of solutions, the number of positive integral solutions of x into y into z is equal to 105 is how much? 27. Okay. So here is the solution of the first problem. Now let's see how we will solve this type of equations in a different situation if we don't have uh, the primes with the powers 1. Here we have the first prime power is 1 and the second prime also has power 1 and the third prime is also has power 1. But you see the second problem now there is something uh, problematic right. So for example here you see x into y into z is equals to 2160 right now this 2160 if you write actually 266 cube every time you use it to say take the same number of, okay so 6 cube is 216 and into 10 which is nothing but 2 cube and into 2 2 power 4 you will get 2 power 4 from this uh, 1 2 you will get and from this you will get 2 cubes so 2 power 4 and here we have 3 cube right 3 2 3 6 so 3 cube into 5 now you see here we have a different situation now in a previous problem what I am explaining this 105 containing only 1 3 only 1 5 only 1 7 so we can say these are three different balls but you know here if you imagine these are balls like balls so how many twos are there four twos means you have two 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 so these are four identical balls you have to think these are as four identical balls okay now three cube means you have a second different ball but that different ball we have three so three another kind of identical balls okay and here we have a single ball which is different from the first we have only one ball here so now whenever this uh, you think of as a problem of distribution you have to suppose that there are three boxes named as x y z so we have three different boxes here three different boxes here we have x y and here we have z three different boxes now how many ways you can distribute these four identical balls let us suppose four identical balls of red color three identical balls of blue color and one green ball you have so how many ways you can distribute this is the question so now the easy part in this is for 5 we have 3 choices because the 5 is a different ball and you have only one different ball 5 so therefore you can put this uh, ball into any one of the 3 boxes so you will have 3 choices so for the ball 5 you have how many choices 3 choices ok let it be the number is 3 3 ways you can uh, distribute this ball into 3 different boxes now what about this how many ways you can distribute these 4 identical balls into 3 different boxes now here you can use linear equations which we discussed in earlier classes so if you don't know how to find the number of ways of distributing identical balls into distinct boxes please watch that video then only you can understand this in a better way ok so now four identical balls you have and you want to distribute into three boxes let us suppose you distribute this only four identical box into three this work will do first okay how many ways you can distribute this four identical box into these three boxes suppose number of balls okay this four identical balls i am speaking about only this four forget about this distribution now forget about this distribution now we have only one distribution you have to do only the work is these four balls how many ways you can arrange into three different boxes named as x y z let us suppose in the first box you put x balls okay or you can say x1 balls and you put uh, x2 balls in the <coughs> sorry for this in the second box and you put x3 balls into the third box <coughs> then sorry for again so here x1 balls and x2 balls and x3 balls respectively in xyz boxes but what are the total number of balls you have only four so x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to four you have right so for example you put two balls here and one ball here and one ball here are you zero balls here two balls here two balls here so like this x1 x2 x3 right they are the integers which are 
positive number of positive integral solutions so x1 plus x2 plus x3 should be equals to what 4 okay now here we have you may have zero balls here you may have one ball here three balls here so x1 may be zero x1 may be zero right so what we do here can you tell me what do we do here here we write the condition x1 is greater than or equal to zero x2 is greater than or equal to zero as well as x3 also greater than or equal to zero i hope you understood this okay <coughs> so x1 is greater than or equal to zero x2 greater than or equal to zero x3 greater than or equal to zero means what we want now the number of non-negative integral solutions of this linear equation number of non-negative integral solutions of this equation now you know whenever you have r variables and here we have n and here we have r variables number of non-negative integral solutions formula you know n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 so this is the formula to find out number of non negative integral solutions here n value is how much you know it is 4 and r value is number of variables is how much you know it is 3 so how many ways uh, you can distribute this four identical balls into three different boxes is nothing but number of non negative integral solutions of this equation right so now using the formula which i wrote here what we get here n is 4 plus r is 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1 which is 4 plus 3 7 uh, minus 1 which is what 6 c 2 and if you calculate 6 c 2 6 into 5 by 2 which is to the 6 3 5 is a 15 so number of ways of doing this job is how many ways you can do this job 15 ways and you can distribute this 5 ball into 3 ways okay now still you have to do some work what is that these 3 identical balls we have to distribute into the boxes how many ways you can distribute this three and again it is a similar one how many balls let us suppose you put in a first box x1 balls then the second box x2 balls in the third x3 balls then again x1 plus x2 plus or you can say if you want y1 y2 y3 if you show if you want to show different variables so you can say y1 balls in the first box y2 balls in the second box y3 balls in the third box but the total number of balls you have three now number of non-negative integral solutions of this will be what can you tell me n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 here we have a formula n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 n is here 3 okay plus r is number of variables 3 again minus 1 c 3 minus 1 which gives you 3 plus 3 6 minus 1 5 c 2 and if you calculate 5 c 2 5 into 4 by 2 i hope you can do this yourself so which is 10 so how many ways you can arrange this you can distribute these three identical balls into three different boxes is what 10 ways okay so once again i repeat a uh, little bit fast now we have x into y into z is equals to 2160 and for the 2160 the canonical form is what 2 power 4 into 3 cube into 5 now you see this one is a different ball only single ball you have how many ways you can distribute this ball into three boxes x y z it can be done in three ways and here we have four identical balls how many ways you can distribute into three distinct boxes is what four plus three minus one c three minus one here four is number of balls three is number of boxes this is number of different balls and this is number of different boxes are the number of variables you can suppose and this is the right hand side number so which is you got six c2 and which we have got 15 ways so for 2 power 4 we have 15 ways and similarly for 3 cube 3 cube 3 different balls so <coughs> what we do here 3 plus number of uh, what is that boxes how many boxes you have here 3 boxes so 3 plus 3 minus 1 c3 minus 1 which gives you 5 c2 and which is what 10 ways so therefore total number of ways of distributing uh, four identical balls three identical balls of second kind and one different ball which is different from first is what 15 into 10 into 3 which is nothing but number of solutions of this what is that 15 into number of solutions is 15 into 10 into 3 okay so which is what 15 to 45 into 10 which is 450 so the number of solutions the number of positive integral solutions of x y z is equals to 160 is what four. 50. Now you see the third question. The number of integral solutions of 
the number of integral solutions of x y z is equals to 2160 now what is the difference between the second question and third question first you observe that we want number of positive integral solutions but here we want number of integral solutions okay we want here number of integral solutions here we into only positive so here we have to count the solutions which can be negative also maybe x value negative y value negative right so we have to consider x y z as negative also if you take like that how many solutions will be there in total now one thing is sure that the number of solutions will be more than 450 that is very clear because of these are only positive integral solutions if there is any negative value for x and y comma z satisfying the condition x into y into z so that will be added to this 450 right the answer should be more than 450 it is a very clear if you understand the question right so i am going to give you the solution of this problem in the next video so before that you try to solve it and if you got the answer please comment okay <coughs> thank you for watching